it's, it's kind of a, a generalization here, but, but somebody who's either <coughs> lost their job, trying to find a new job, finished university, what do you think the best assets are? someone could or should have in order to achieve as much as possible in life? Well, one of the um, topics that comes up again and again on Zestology is I ask at the end of the interview, I ask people to come up with uh, one book that they'd recommend and one tip for living life with uh, more energy, vitality and purpose. And two things, actually two different aspects come up again and again. The first is people say, make time for yourself. And that might sound very... Um, counterintuitive if you've lost your job and you're looking for a new job or you want to change your life because all you want to do especially if you're into NLP is work on that but making time for yourself and they're really quite specific about it some of my guests they will put into their diary two till four I'm going to yoga and mm -hmm. it's in the diary you know and four till six I'm going to go home and watch house of cards and that's in the diary as well <laughs> I mean it's amazing really but we live our lives at such a frenetic pace that I suppose it's effective for people to do that so Definitely prioritizing time for yourself. But then the other thing that's popped up again and again is being open to new experiences and going outside your comfort zone. That comes up again and again. Being able to adapt and change. Um, the way that the media world was 20 years ago is totally and utterly different to the way it was now. And for me working in media, if I hadn't kind of changed and tried to learn and adapt and move on, then I wouldn't have been able to survive in it. And I think... I noticed that especially those in business who get to their 60s and 70s and are still really cracking it every time, they're the ones who've managed to change and adapt, whether it's their business or themselves, probably both.